Hello and welcome to Anne's Country Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you something a little bit special. How to make a tasty and deeply satisfying chicken mushroom and bacon puff pie. So let's get started. Before we start I'm going to show you how to prepare the chicken fillets. Right, you turn your chicken fillet over and you'll find with your fingers you'll find that there's sinew here that you need to take out of your chicken using a pair of scissors, cut through and remove your sinew. You'll find that some of them don't have any sinew in them and others have quite a lot. This particular one has got quite a lot. There. Now we'll cut our fillets into chunks that are bite-sized pieces. If you find any sinew in them, take them out. Don't forget to wash things thoroughly after you've done your chicken and your hands. Right, now let's go through the ingredients you're going to need. You need two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You'll need two tablespoons of plain flour. 500 grams of puff pastry that has been defrosted. You'll need two teaspoons of thyme. You need some salt and pepper. You need 250 grams of mushrooms. You need an onion that's been sliced. You need eight rashers of streaky smoked bacon that's been cut into bite-sized pieces, four chicken breasts that we prepared earlier, an egg for egg washing, you'll need 200 millilitres of milk, 600 millilitres of chicken stock. The utensils that you're going to need are a deep non-stick pan with a lid, a pie dish with a lip, a plate that's got a bit of uh, kitchen paper on it, a slotted spoon, a wooden spoon, a pair of tongs, a wooden rolling pin, an egg wash brush, a small knife and a fork. I've heated my oil, my two tablespoons of vegetable oil, in my pan. I've also added my salt and pepper to my cut chicken. Now put your chicken into your oil. You're going to need this to be browned a little, so it will take about five to eight minutes. Now this has been cooking for eight minutes and it's started to get a little brown on the edges. I'm going to take it out of the pan using a slotted spoon and put it onto my plate to drain. Now we're going to add our bacon into our pan and this is going to fry until it's crispy. That will take at least five minutes. The bacon's cooking well, it needs to be crispy so give it a chance to crisp up. It all adds to the flavour. Right, now we're going to add in our onions. Our mushrooms. And our thyme. until they soften. We 
when you're cooking the thyme, you've got a lovely aroma in it, especially mixed with bacon. It takes a little time to do this, but it's so nice when the onions are sweet. Now you're going to add your chicken back into your pan. Make sure you coat it with all the juices. Now we're going to take this off the heat. We're going to add our flour. Stir it through. This is going to thicken your sauce. Now you add your stock a little at a time. Just to loosen the flour, and you can put it back on the heat. Now you're going to add your milk. You're going to bring this to the boil. Make sure you keep stirring this to get your flour into the sauce. It's coming to the boil now. All we have to do is turn it down and simmer it with the lid on the pan for 30 minutes. Stir it occasionally to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. If it does get dry, add a little more milk. This has now been simmering for 30 minutes, so we're going to now transfer it into our pie dish. Now this has to be left to cool completely. We're now going to make the top of the pie. Stand your pie dish next to it and you'll see if you've got the right length. Right. Before we can put the lid on the pie, we have to, round the sides, need to add a small amount of pastry so that it will stick. So all you have to do is take your egg wash and 
just go around the outside of your pie dish. Now you push this piece of pastry down onto the rim of your pie dish. It'll give a base for the lid. It doesn't have to look pretty, but efficient. Just like that. Now you're going to brush this with some more egg wash so that your lid will stick to it. Before you start, you'll need to add a couple of holes like that in your pastry to let steam out. Let your pastry roll round your rolling pin like so and then pull it along just like that and attach it to the piece underneath. Trim the excess with your knife. Now you need to put this in the fridge until you're ready to cook it. Right, we've taken our pie out of the fridge, it's been in there 20 minutes. We're going to egg wash the top. We're now going to bake our pie in a 200 degree oven for 30 minutes. Well, I hope this has inspired you to try the recipe. Please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.